Hello you guys, welcome to this episode of Cooking with Talisha's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make real simple, easy Cajun sauce. You know, you can put this on any pasta and top it off with any meats. And this is the ingredients that you need to make it. You need one pack of softened cream cheese. Now I'm making a big pan for somebody, so I would recommend just one a carton of heavy whipping cream. You can use, what size is this? This is a quart. And you also would need a quart of half and half, but I'm making a big pan, big one from somebody. And probably a can of chicken broth. And um, Parmesan grated cheese. And you also need this cheese. It's a um, mozzarella and provolone mix. So here it is. And you can use any noodles. I'm today. I'm gonna use bow tie noodles. You cook your noodles, and let me, let me tell y'all something about them noodles. When you cook noodles, make sure you rinse them off in cold, cold water, and let them let the heat go off of it. Because when you go to mix in hot sauce or anything, anything hot in it, it cooks the noodles some more. So you don't want to have overcooked noodles. And the meat, I'm gonna choose. Well, I'm not choosing. Somebody is getting this. It's some tilapia. So I'm. Gonna, Go ahead and put this in the oven. I also have, I have it down in the description um, of how to season meat, so it show you how I season the tilapia. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the sauce. It's two ingredients I forgot to tell y'all to add, and that's um, flour and cornstarch. So let's get this started. So you wanna pour all your cold ingredients in there in a pot. Or skillet, whichever one. I'm making a big thing, so I need a pot. Get them for your broth. And if you just bought the cream cheese, you can put it in the microwave to, to soften it up because it'd be harder to mix when you mix it extremely cold. I know these ingredients seem weird. Go ahead and add your, your pack of cream cheese in there, which I have too. Okay, with, with the flour, you're going to add about, I'll say, three tablespoons of flour. Now, notice I don't have the, um, I don't have the water, I mean, this turned on yet because I want to add these ingredients first because, um... Flour and cornstarch, if you put it in hot, something hot, it don't dissolve right, and you'll be mixing. So about three tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch just make your, um, make your, um, whatever sauces you have thicken. Flour and cornstarch just thickens your sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. Now I'm going to turn on my pot. While it's boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and season it. And I'll put you in the description about what seasoning to use. Just regular seasoning, seasoning salt, accent, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, seasoning salt. And this is dash. And the other seasons we'll just put in later on. So we're gonna go ahead and let this get to a boil. Then come back. Oh, you also now can add some butter in there. For a small, I just recommend a half a stick of butter. But I'm making a big thing for some reason. Let's bring this all to a boil. Then when we come back, show you what else to do. Okay, now that we back, this is what you do. You paste some noodles in a skillet or you know a big saucepan like this if you using like the one pound bag of noodles or whatever you know you need something bigger but this is what you do you take out the sauce you're going to add some of the sauce in here i'm making a big pan i'm just going to show you how to make Now you're gonna stir this around. 
And this is when you add your Parmesan cheese and your shredded cheese. I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese first. About two or three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. One thing about adding this kind of Parmesan cheese, you have to make sure that it's um, well incorporated because if not, it'll taste gritty. You can use any type of noodles, it don't matter, any type of pasta. So now you're gonna add in probably like three quarts of some cheese. You can use the shredded Parmesan cheese. This is Parmesan and mozzarella. You can use mozzarella or provolone mix, either one. Just really white cheese. And you stir this until it gets thick. You can sprinkle in a little bit more Cajun sauce. It won't hurt. Now after all this is well mixed in, you want to let it sit for about five minutes and then transfer it to your plate, bowl, whatever dish you have. And I'll show you how it is when we come back. Well, you guys, here is the finish. Now you can top this off with any kind of um, meat. You can use chicken, you can use pork, you can use turkey, lamb chop, it doesn't matter. This is the full pan that I have for someone. Let me know how y'all make y'all occasion pasta. And if you try it mass, comment below. Make sure you like and share this video. And thank you for cooking with Talisha's Kitchen today. Yes, the tilapia fell apart. It is so good. And I'm about to smash. Everybody have a good day.